Okay, in this video I'd like to show a little bit about uh, the ifconfig command. We'll look at the man file first. ifconfig is used to configure network interfaces. Um, and as you see the man file is pretty descriptive here. At the bottom of this page you see that up and down or switches that causes the driver to be uh, shut down or turned on. So if we want to turn a particular network device off, we use the command down or the switch down. So with just the command IF config, oh, hold on. With just the command ifconfig, it shows all of the various network devices. In this particular machine, there are two of them. ETH0 at the top here, you see, is the wireless device. I'm going to answer the phone. Hello? Yeah? Why? For 20, sure. Bring them on. All right. <laughs> Chris wanting to know if he could drop a couple of kids off here. Madison and Gavin. Anyway, as you can see, ETH0 has an IP address of 192.168.1.15. This is my laptop, and that's the wireless device. ETH1 is... You see it doesn't have an IP address. It's not being used this time. So it doesn't have, you know, doesn't have an IP address. So as we saw in the uh, man file, if we do, uh, now of course, commands that really make changes to the network interface are going to require admin privileges. So sudo ifco NFIG uh, 1. Alright, if we take ETH 1 down, it's not going to matter because uh, we're using the wireless device. Now you see, ETH 1 is no longer on the list. We can take it up put it up again with the up command and you see it's there see now you see all three of them again the loop back at the bottom one here that's just LO is loop back which is just uh, it, it's on all machines just loop back it's the uh, it's just the internal IP address which is 127.0.0.1 they all have to have an internal IP address you notice it doesn't have a, a hardware or um, MAC address um, because it's just a loop back interface. It's really just a, the computer itself. So as you see, um, uh, I have config. If we if we give it the uh, the interface name it'll tell you only about that one interface Oops. see there's ETH1 here's ETH0 okay um, of course, there's not much reason to look at LO, but as you see, if you give it um, a interface name afterwards, it tells you the information about the particular interface. Um, now, one thing I wanted to show you is the tab key auto completion thing. When you're doing commands, 
if you let's say we just type if we hit tab key a couple times we see everything all commands that start with if now if we had a c to that we're only going to have two choices if we had an o to that we're only going to have one choice and it's going to auto complete to if config now some of them aren't going to have if cfg um some of them will just have if CONFID. Um, I don't even know what IFCFG is. But at any rate, probably on your machine, <coughs> if you just ty type IFC on a Ubuntu machine, it's going to autocomplete to IFCONFIG. I have to type IFCO and hit the tab key. It autocompletes to IFCONFIG. When you do that, do it that way, it does two things for you. I hit the tab key right there. Oh, hit the tab key right there. It auto completes the IF config. It does two things for me. It types in the rest of the command, number one. Number two, it lets me know that I have, in fact, a valid command before me. I know that when I hit enter, something's really going to happen. So that's why I said the tab key is your friend, okay? See, I hit the tab key right there. It auto completes. On yours, you probably just type IFC, hit the tab key, it'll auto complete. That's one of the you know beauties of using the tab key. It'll it auto completes and confirms that you have in fact a valid command or, or file name. Like if you're uh, listing a file name, see if I there's a directory. If I type I, ls j o and I hit the tab key a couple times, it shows me that I have two files or directories. Directories files it doesn't matter. It shows me I have two directories that start with jo, jobs and Joomla. So if I type joo and hit tab key, it's going to autocomplete to Joomla, and I'll see what's in the Joomla file. So there you go. That's the function of the tab key at the terminal. And it's it's very useful and helpful. Now, another thing I could show you while I while I'm here is this. Um, if I highlight something and I hit the middle mouse button or both mouse mouse buttons at once, uh, if if it's a scroll wheel, you hit the scroll wheel or the middle mouse button, it's going to type that in there for you. Whatever you whatever you highlight. See, see if I highlight that and hit both mouse buttons anywhere in this window, it types it in there for me. Just you know, with capitals where they are and so forth and so on. Another thing to remember too is Linux is Linux and Unix systems is in fact case sensitive. So if you type I F C O N F I G, you can hit enter all day long. Command not found. It is lowercase. The command is lowercase and only lowercase. If I type command not found, it's IFCONFIG all lowercase. See? Okay. I uh, hope this clears up a few things for you and um, thanks for watching.